Hello, hello, one, two, three. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Lainez. How are you? Good? Good. Okay, I am happy to hear that. And I see that Manuel is listening today, right? Yes, Manuel, I copy, no problem. Let me check. Manuel Eduardo, right? Okay, very good. And when I say uh, Manuel Eduardo, you say present in the chat, right? Manuel, in the chat, please. Okay. Copy, 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 Manuel, no problem. Hey, Cristina, how are you, Cristina? Hello, good evening. <laughs> good evening. It's a pleasure, right? And we have, ladies and gentlemen, from San Miguel, Patricia Lourdes, right? Okay. Welcome to the class, Patricia. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> it's a pleasure, right? Okay. So let's begin. Let's begin with the class immediately, right? Uh, let me see. We're going to start checking the... Ah, what happened here? I need, I need to show you the book, but it's not opening. Mm -hmm. Let me check this. Yes, it's module number three. Okay, here. Yes, it's opening. It's opening, it's opening, right? Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's review the infinitives. Let's review the infinitives. Uh, eh, sorry, the infinitives and the gerund, right? This is the conversation we were practicing yesterday, remember? Right? Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer, right? And Roxana said, thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. For keeping, right? I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. So she's going to be an employee, a worker in the maintenance department department right will i be responsible to you on grade or department work together so we have the the maintenance department right and the safety engineer right okay and then it says um but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department you'll be responsible to him Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? And Jessica says, sure, no problem, right? Sure, no problem. Okay. Then here we have the, the chart. Look, the organization chart, the organigramma, right? Uh, here we have the floor manager. Uh, this is Jessica. And this is Roxana, right? And this is the teacher. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and we have here the floor manager, el jefe de, de piso, right, floor manager. Then in the same, we have the safety engineer and the maintenance chief, right? So, Jessica is here, right? Jessica is the safety engineer. And the maintenance chief is the manager of Roxana. Roxana is part of the maintenance personnel, right? Then we have the supervisor. And the supervisor checks the machine operators, the assemblers, ensambladores, right? And the truck drivers. Okay, so this is the, the organizational chart. Now I have some questions here. Let me reduce this for you. Yes, here, right? 
let me check. Okay, uh, let me check if I can maximize a little bit. Oh, yes, it's possible. It's, it's possible. Yes. Okay, class. Now let's review the gerund, right? Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Remember? Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Let's check it out. Jessica. Jessica. Jessica, right? Yes. We practiced this yesterday. Yes. The say Jessica or the safety engineer is the same. Jessica is the safety engineer. Look here, right? The safety engineer or Jessica. It's the same, right? Number two, who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Who is in Jessica. charge? Jessica. Mm. No, no, sé, Rick. The maintenance, maintenance chief. The maintenance chief, right? The maintenance chief here. So this is the in charge of directing the personnel of my maintenance, maintenance personnel, right? And in, in the group of maintenance personnel is Roxana, right? Son Roxana, son Roxana. Okay. Good. And who is Roxana responsible to? I will say it very easy. Right? Who is the manager of Roxana? Huh? Who is the manager of, of Roxana? The teacher? Beatriz? Jorge? No, right? Who is the, the manager? Or who is Roxana responsible to? We can say this in Spanish. Al mando de quien está? O quien está al mando de, de Roxana, right? <laughs> that is the question. Bas. Who? Según entiendo del manager. The maintenance? The maintenance chief. Chief. chief is manager, boss. Uh, so the, the maintenance manager is, is the manager of Roxana. So Roxana is responsible to the maintenance chief. Okay? Roxana está a las órdenes del jefe de mantenimiento. Okay? Okay. And the last one. Who look at the organization chart, right? It says, who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? In other words, quien es el jefe, right? The, of the maintenance, enge safety engineer, sorry, and the maintenance chief. Floor manager. The floor manager, my goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with the gerunds. Check out this. Okay, let me see. Okay, here. How to use ING form or how to use gerunds. Lo que veíamos ayer, ¿verdad? The gerunds. After preposition, right? After preposition. Let me see. Let me see. Look at the questions in exercise three. Okay, according to what we saw, right? Use a verb plus S or plus ING after preposition, right? What do we use? S? Do we use S or do we use ING? ING. ING, right? We use ING, correct. 
So after preposition, we use form with ing, right? For example, be responsible for. Let's say I am responsible for uh, working uh, in the English class, for example, right? Uh, Beatriz is responsible for distributing the material in televisores. Televisor Argueta, right, Beatriz? No, no. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> but the idea is to, to use an ING verb, right? Uh, let me say, Patricia is in charge of uh, making reports. I don't know. It's an, an example, right? Uh, Jorge is in charge of repairing, repairing the machinery, right? Uh, I am accountable for uh, making the payrolls, planilla, right? She is committed to uh, to um, what? To working very hard, right? Uh, other example could be uh, Oscar is dedicated to working every day, right? For example, and those are some, just some example, right? But remember that after the proposition, we use ING. Okay. And it says, to say who you report to, use be responsible to or be accountable to. Look, talk about your responsibilities, use be responsible for or in, in charge of or be accountable for, right? I will explain this. When I say I am responsible, let me see, I will erase this. When I say I am responsible to, I, I am saying mi jefe es, mi jefe es, right? But you can also say I am accountable to, also, right? Mi jefe es, o fulanito está a cargo de mí, right? But when I say that you are the manager, you say, I am responsible for. Let's say, for example, Enoch is the manager of Carolina. Let's say, for example, right? Enoch is the manager of Carolina. So Enoch is responsible for Carolina, right? Or for directing Carolina, for example, just one example. <laughs> okay. You also say be in charge of or be accountable for. It means that you are the manager. Eso quiere decir que usted es el jefe, ¿verdad? You're the je je jefecito. Okay. Good. Now let's continue with this chart. Let's analyze this chart. Mm -hmm. So it says, let me see, the general manager, right? After the general manager, we have the auditor, the auditor, right? And then we have the quality control inspector, the floor manager, the financial department, computer department, sales department. And then we have the safety engineer, the maintenance chief, Remember the safety engineer is here, right? Uh, Jessica, the safety. And then, and Roxana is in the maintenance person, right? Then we have the supervisor. The supervisor is in charge of the machine operators, the assemblers and the truck driver, right? This is the organigramma. Okay. Now we are going to see Let me do something here. Okay, very good. We are going to, to see how to use ING form, right? Let me say. Okay, the verb is supervise. Remember that after the prepositions, we use 
ing form, right? Who is responsible for? Supervise. Supervise. Supervising, very good. Supervising. Mm -hmm. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Now class, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Supervising, remember, right? ING. The machine operators. Do you understand the question? Okay. In the mo moment you analyze, I will take the attendance, right? I will take the attendance. Uh, Enoch? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. And Cristina? Present. Thank you. Carolina? Present. Esaú? Good evening, present. Good evening, Elizabeth. Miss Vasquez Perez. Jill. Giovanni. Beatriz. Present. Jennifer Guadalupe. Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo. Mr. Flores. Karina. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. It's natural. It's natural. We say hola, right? No problem. <laughs> no, I, I like it because you say very natural, okay? Thank you, thank you. And welcome to the class, Karina. Welcome. Uh, thank Ale you. You're welcome. Alejandro? Okay, and Manuel is listening, right? A Manuel lo tenemos de listener. Vamos a ver por aquí, attendance. Esaú, Oscar Daniel. A, a mí no me mencionó, teacher. Uh, a Mario. Mario, no, no, todavía no he llegado a, a su nombre, Mario, ya casi llego. Ok, pues, pensé que ya había. No, 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 no he terminado, permítame. Eh, Manuel, estado oyente, y también, a mí sí, estaré de oyente, Oscar, Oscar, right. Oscar va a estar de oyente, ya le pusimos presente, y eh, Manuel, ya puso presente, ok, good, thank you. Now, Mario. Present. Ok, thank you. Andrés. Hello, teacher. Present. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come, comenta, comentarle, perdón. Uh -huh. eh, me había escrito ahí en el WhatsApp, en el grupo, de que iba a estar de oyente. Uh -huh. Porque dice que salí, eh, de hecho, por decir algo de emergencia, tenía algo que uh -huh. hacer. Ok. Y pues resulta de que cuando venía en camino, ¿verdad? Me tocó pasar a un taller. Entonces, uh -huh. aprovechando lo que están ahí revisando mi moto, estoy aquí ahorita eh, con, con vídeo pero ya después me va a tocar estar ahí solo con audio ok, no problem Andrés, no problem, be careful okay. ten cuidado ahí que, que le dejen bien esa moto poderosa yes. <risa> ok, thank you Andrés. ya le entendí okay. yes. de momento va a participar pero luego solo oyente ok, Así es. okay thank you en Patricia present thank you Esmeralda Sonia Esmeralda, Víctor, Víctor, Vilma, present teacher, present, eh, Víctor, Víctor, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Vilma. Good, good night. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> okay. No problem, Vilma, no problem. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay. No, no, you can say, you can say in Spanish, right? You can say presente, here I am. Eh, aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. <laughs> you can say, aquí estoy. Okay. You can say, hola. <laughs> no problem. The, import, the, the important is that you say present, right? If you want to say, for example, Barca is the, the champion, no problem. <laughs> you can say that. Okay. Thank you. I, thank you. I mean, uh, I will repeat the missing, right? Voy a repetir los que hacen falta. Y pues, díganme si ya se conectaron. Elizabeth. Jill. Giovanni. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Welcome, Jennifer. Welcome. Okay. okay. Eduardo. Alejandro. Esmeralda. Okay, good. Hola. Ah, uh, Esmeralda. Oh, welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> nice. I repeat, you can say <laughs> hello, you can say uh, how are you? You can say whatever. The, the important thing that you say that you are present, right? Okay. Now let's continue, right? Who is responsible? In other words, who is the manager of the machine operators? Who is the manager? This is our organizational chart of Rex, the company, right? So who is in charge or who is the boss or who is the manager of the machine operators? Supervisor. Supervisor, yeah. Totally right. Supervisor. The supervisor, yes. Correct. Okay, only for that, Doodle is present in this moment. He's going to clap, right? Okay, thank you. Number two, who is in charge of, of what? Checking. Checking, checking. my goodness, checking. Very good. Remember, after a preposition, we have a gerund, right? Or ing form. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? Quality con control inspector. The quality control inspector. The quality control is in inspector. Quality. Control inspector. Okay. Very good. Now, number three. Who is responsible for? Role manager. No, it's an activity. Jeron, Jeron. Repairing. 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 Right? Repairing. Very good. Guys, do you uh, have the, the manual in physical? Todos tienen su manual en físico? No. No, no only virtual, manual, right? No, no problem. It's not necessary to print it. No, no, no es necesario imprimirlo, pero si, si pueden, tienen la voluntad y tienen impresora en casita, pues imprímanlo para estar escribiendo ahí, ¿verdad? That is... Me imagino que es una plataforma, teacher, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, okay. and, and it's also in the in the WhatsApp. También se los envié en el en WhatsApp. El día lunes se los envié, pero si quieren se los envío otra vez, no hay problema. <laughs> okay? You can download it from that, right? It's in PDF. Está en formato PDF. Ah, por cierto, este, las presentaciones de PowerPoint que, env que he enviado, ¿las han podido abrir? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, good. ¿Y los videos que les he estado mandando también los han podido abrir? Y yes, este, teacher. Ajá, y entonces, ¿por, yes. qué no lo, ¿por qué no los han abierto? A ver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today I sent one of the listeners, right? 
Hoy les envié uno de, de listening, que es un examen para niños, pero obviamente estamos en básico 3, pues somos niños <ríe> en inglés. ¿verdad? Para mí. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. ¿Quién es el niño? Veamos. <ríe> Ese niño ya tiene bigote. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Está okay. pintado. Ah, ok. Thank you, Jorge. Ok, so you can practice. Pueden practicar, ¿verdad? Eh, los días lunes les mando de vocabulario. Los días martes de gramática, los miércoles de listening. Los jueves les estoy mandando tres canciones porque ustedes me pidieron canciones, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? No me acuerdo quién me dijo, creo que es a uno. Ay, Jorge. Ah, Jorge okay. le dijo. Ah, bueno. Que queríamos música. Bueno, complacidos. Hay tres canciones para mañana, ¿ok? <ríe> ¿Ok? Eh, Thank you. La número uno es enfermera. Enfermera, no, la número dos es la cuchupa. Número tres, ah, no. no, son en inglés las canciones, wow. Así que por favor, escúchenlas. ¿eh? La, la número tres es la carcacha. La carcacha, <risa> yeah. Ok. Thank you, thank you very much, right? Eh, and also, I, I haven't checked the, 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 the platform, right? No he chequeado sus notas. Eh, hoy en la noche las voy a chequear, a ver quiénes, quiénes están trabajando, ¿verdad? Ya tenemos que tener terminada dos. Teacher. <coughs> yes. uh, fíjese que a uh, mí se me ha arruinado la tarjeta del Wi-Fi de, de la computadora y no he podido avanzar en eso. Pero... ¿Y, en el, ¿Y en el teléfono no se puede, Mario? Uh, no. No, no, sí no, se no puede. Sí, sí. No, no, yo, yo no puedo en el teléfono porque está un poquito dañado, pero ah, voy a intentar. Okay. Hacerlo en otra parte. Inténtelo, si no en otra computadora, ¿verdad? Ahí algún primo. Algún... Ahorita estoy viendo cómo reparo esa tarjeta. Ah, bueno. Porque justo ayer estaba usando la computadora y después de la clase se arruinó. Bueno, ni modo, hay que hacer inversión, ¿verdad? Porque eh, como es virtual esta clase, pues ya ven, yo aquí tengo mis orejeras, miren. Así es que por ahí estaban ofreciendo otras, así que haga la inversión. ¿Verdad? Es, les aseguro que van a disfrutar más de la clase, porque a veces por el ruido exterior no se oye nada. Yo aquí, nada, puede pasar un avión a la par de mí, no, no escucho nada, solo los escucho a ustedes, ¿verdad? Y ustedes no escuchan a los perritos de mi, de mi vecino, ¿va? Así que hagan la inversión, por ahí está una buena oferta en el grupo, ¿verdad? O si no, pues en otro lugar, pero la cosa es que ustedes... ¿Verdad? Hagan su inversión, ¿ok? Y pues, a conseguir un buen celular o, y una buena computadora también, ¿verdad? Y aunque sea usadita. La mía está usadita, así es que, como podamos, ¿verdad? Porque esto del proceso de inglés, les, les aseguro que les va a traer muchos beneficios, ¿ok? Ok, adelante. Now, let's continue. Let's continue with the class. Good. Who is responsible for repairing, repairing, excuse me, vamos a borrar esto que está malo, repairing, ah. repairing the problems of the machine, don't say Jorge, right, <laughs> Jorge Alberto is, no, no, it's not Jorge, look at the organigrama, right, The organizational chart. Is computer department. The maintenance chief. The maintenance. Maintenance. Ah. maintenance operators. The maintenance chief or the maintenance the personal. Uh, maintenance personal. Okay. Aquí dice. Uh, chief no real jefe, verdad? It could be, uh -huh, but I, 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 I think it's the maintenance person, right? Person. Uh -huh, okay. And aquí hay un pequeño error, porque aquí tendría que decir maintenance department, right? Sí. Pero dice maintenance chef, pero, pero es igual, ¿no? El jefe del departamento de, de mantenimiento, right? So, let's copy maintenance, maintenance operator. Ah, uh, operators, very good. O maintenance department, too, right? Maintenance. Eh, 
Personal, voy a poner personal. Ok, good. Maintenance. Sí, maintenance. Maintenance. Personal, o operators, o, 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 o department, ok. Number four. Who is accountable for? Selling. Selling. Uh -huh. Who is accountable yes. for? Selling. Selling. Very good. Finance Selling. department. Finance. Finance. Oh. Selling the products. Finance department? No. No, no. Selling. Vender. Sales. Sales department. Very good. The sales department. Sales department. The sales department. Very good. Who is in charge of mm -hmm. assisting con doble T? Double S, right? Assisting. Mm, double T? No, no, I guess no, no, just no. one, right? It's only one. Uh -huh. Assisting. And who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Los ensambladores. Who is? Supervisor. Supervisor. Sin miedo. Come on. Supervisor. Say. <laughs> Supervisor. Superman. I know. Supervisor. Supervisor, right? And finally, who's accountable for? Está algo chiquito, ¿verdad? Pero es que quería enseñarles el, el, el organigrama también que saliera. ¿no? So, who is accountable for? Managing. Managing. Very good. Managing. Remember the rule, right? When the verb ends in E, you eliminate the E. Cuando el verbo termina en E, eliminamos la E, right? So we say managing. Who is accountable or who is responsible for managing the whole operation in Rex? The general manager. The general manager. El, el, el jefecito, right? The general manager. Licenciado Benavide, me decían ayer, ¿verdad? The general manager, right? Y también el caso de Patricia era, era una pareja, creo, ¿verdad? Los jefes ahí de la compañía. Yes. yes. They are the general managers. The general manager is the, the top of the top, right? In big companies, you say the CEO. CEO, right? Chief. Executive Officer, the CEO, right? El macizo, <laughs> okay, the CEO, okay? Good. Now, any question? CEO, CEO está por encima de general, de manager. De I manager. suppose, uh -huh, I suppose, yo creo que sí. Yeah. I suppose, because it's, uh, Rex is like a small company, right? But it, I suppose. Uh, okay. Aquí tengo. Ah, yes. Um, Manuel dice que le. <laughs> Manuel dice que le toca ir al ciber, ni modo, ¿verdad? Si tiene por ahí un ciber cercano, Mario también va. Eh? Es una buena opción. Okay. Let's continue, right? Any question? No, no, we're going to make the last exercise, please. Remember two topics, right? The infinitives of purpose and the gerunds after preposition, right? Two topics for the moment. Y ya viene lo bueno, la voz pasiva. Come on, this is very difficult, so. But let's, let's, let's make the last practice with, with the, with the gerund, right? And infinitives. Let me see. Ah, what is the page? Page 45. 
page 45. Oh, sorry here. Uh, ok, Jorge. Pregunta, ¿y el libro que está utilizando no lo puede compartir? Uh, the problem is that it's very heavy. Es demasiado pesado porque tiene videos, audios. Mira, aquí tiene un audio. ¿eh? Page 45. No, no se puede compartir, a menos que nos veamos ahí en un parque y le, me presten un USB. Yo <ríe> se los copio con un USB porque es muy pesado. ¿Sí? ¿Y no lo puede mandar comprimido? No, ya lo he intentado, no se puede, demasiado pesado. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Well, welcome, Eduardo. Welcome, Eduardo. Welcome to the class. Yeah, sorry, sorry, eh, Jorge, but I can send more material, pero si quieren les envío otro material para que, que no es tan pesado, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes practiquen. Claro. Sí, lástima que no se puede, ni comprimido. Sorry. Let me see. Ahí estamos, ¿ok? Now, listen to the audio, please. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Ok. Infinitives and gerunds. Son los temas que hemos visto. Ok. Infinitives and gerunds. Pay attention. Infinitives. I use my cell phone to send messages. Some people use their phones to watch videos. People often use their phones to take photos. Gerunds. I use my cell phone for sending messages. Some people use their phones for watching videos. People often use their phones for taking photos. Okay. Now, we have the two uses, infinities and zero, right? Infinities and zero. Now, let's make this exercise. Oops, sorry. Excuse me. Okay, here, right? Okay, por ahí. Yes. Okay, we are going to make two, two examples, right? Uh, and then I will take one person at the beginning for from infinity. In this case, no, Cristina, Carolina, etc. And the other person, uh, Vilma, Victor, Esmeralda, from the last part of the, the, the list, right? Voy a tomar voluntarios del, del inicio de la lista y del final, okay? Excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Now, Many people use tablet computers to make video calls. Look. To make video calls, right? So this is infinity, right? Okay. And many people use tablet computers for making video calls. One is infinity and one is zero, right? Okay. Now, number two, Enoch, please. You can use your smartphone. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. I need you to tell me an infinitive. In these examples, look for criminals, perform dangerous tasks, get directions, make car parts, make video calls, and learn languages. 210. Okay, please say, you can use your smartphone. Okay, you can use your smartphone. Um, to learn language. To learn languages. Very good. Now, Vilma, please. Jerome, Vilma. Really? Number two, you can use your smartphone. Um, you... You guys, you my smartphone for um, for for maybe a call call make video call. Mm -hmm. But in this case, Vilma, I need instead of say make 
remember that after a preposition here, for example, for watching, for taking, huh? so I need you to use ing, ing in the verb make. Okay. May be you call. Making? Making? Uh huh. Video course. Okay, thank you. Now, again, please, you can use your smartphone. Repeat Make it. you be. But repeat, repeat. You can use your smartphone. You can use your smartphone. For? Make. For? For? You can use your <laughs> smartphone for? For make video call. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. You can use your smartphone for making video call, right? For making video call. Excellent. Very good. Now, next one, please, Christina. Number three. Engineers use... 3D printers. Mm -hmm. Infinitives, mm -hmm. Cristina, infinitive. Four. Uh -huh. The options are look for criminals, perform dangerous tasks, get directions, make car parts, make video calls, learn languages. What is the purpose, Christina, for 3D printers? Have you heard of that? ¿Ya escuchó de esos impresores en tercera dimensión? Sí, pero... Yes, okay. What is the purpose? ¿Para qué sirven? To make car parts. Okay, Eduardo is. Cristina, eh, Eduardo and other students are giving suggestions, right? Eh, si yo estuviera en clase personal, les dijera, no le estén dando copia a Cristina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ya le hubiera puesto un poco menos. <laughs> ya le hubiera puesto un poco <laughs> Perform dangerous tasks. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Creo es que, que no, menciona no. la traducción como uh -huh. para qué vas a ocupar una impresora 3D entonces uh -huh. ¿Qué es purpose, right? que dice que, uh -huh, crear parte de cada I know but to eh, make, give, to make give time parts. to Cristina right? pero le vamos a dar un pequeño espacio a Cristina para que nos nos razone un poquito verdad thank you thank you very much you can use your your I mean engineers use 3D printers ya le, le dieron la respuesta por ahí, Cristina, pero necesito que usted me dé la, la oración estructurada, ¿ok? For making. Ajá. No, 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 but I need the, the infinitive, no the gerund. Necesito que usted me dé el infinitivo, no el gerundio, ¿ok? Now, again, engineers, repeat, engineers. Engineers. Ajá. Use 3D printers. Ajá. For? No, to, to. Vea los ejemplos que están arriba. Eh. To take photos. Mm. To, to take. Take. No, 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 pero aquí es make. To make car parts. Excelentoso, yeah. <laughs> ok. Engineers use 3D printers to make car parts, right? Now, Victor, please. Jerome, Victor. Number three. Engineers. Engineers. Mm -hmm. Use uh, 3D printers. Printers. Uh huh. Uh huh. For. 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 Make video calls. Making. No, 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 no. Make it. Making? Making car parts. Excellent. Very good. For making car parts. You see? Estamos comparando los infinitivos con los gerundios. No sé si me van entendiendo. Si no me entienden, deténganme. Okay? Look at the example here. Look. Uh -huh. 
Yo, yo aquí. creo que tal vez sí, Tiche. ¿Mm? Tal vez sí lo, nos, nos lo confirma nuevamente cómo está la situación, porque Ok, again, look, example no, no here. está totalmente asimilado. Ok, good. Enough. Teacher, teacher, hello. Yes. Hello, teacher. Yes, yes, I can Entiendo hear que ahorita, entiendo que ahorita, oh, in English. Uh -huh, yes, yes. In English, I understand in this moment only use infinitives and genus. Yes. But in the same, in the same, in the same sentence. Oración, oración, sentence. Sentence, yes. Except for in letter A, in letter A, Number one, many people use use tablet computers. Tabl tablet ah, computer. Tablet uh, computer. To uh, tablet. looking for criminal. To look for criminals. Uh, en uh -huh. Another example sería uh, for looking for criminals. Excellent, very good. Ahí ya se lo resumió Eduardo, okay? So number okay. one, infinitive. Look at the example here. Es que aquí abajo están los ejemplos. Miren, abajo, sí. Many people use tablet computers to make video calls. Infinitive. Many people use tablet computers for making video calls. Is there, right? Look at the example here, right? Lo que no logro comprender, teacher, mm -hmm. es en qué momento lo ocupo como infinitivo y en qué momento lo ocupo como gerundio. When you okay, want. Entiendo la, la, la oración, pero no entiendo cómo, en qué When momento distinguirlo cuando es infinitivo. Eduardo, if you like chocolate or vanilla, if you say, I want vanilla, no problem. Ah, no, I want chocolate. No problem. You can use infinitives or you can use gerunds. The same. Es lo mismo. Ah, ok. Understand? Okay. So, anytime you want to use gerunds, ok. No, I, I want to use gerunds. Ok, no problem, right? Okay. Ok, solo déjeme okay. un ratito aquí, que solo voy a anotar a Giovanni. Regálame un segundito. Giovanni va a estar de oyente. ¿Quién más me está hablando? Eh, Carolina. Ya se había reportado, Carolina. Sí, ¿verdad? O me quiere hacer una pregunta. ¿Yes? ¿Carolina? No. Sorry. Creo que le está fallando un poquito el internet, Carolina. Vaya, cuando se le estabilice. Uh, yes, ¿la escuchamos? Uh -huh. No, only say if, if you want to use the infinity, uh -huh. it's no problem. You, you, you can use uh -huh. or, or Jeron. Yes, excellent. Very good. If you want to use Jeron, Jeron. If you want to use only infinity. The, if, if, You use the preposition uh -huh. to over for. Yes. So After whenever when, when you use the 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 when you use the the preposition you use gerund, right? And then in the other case you use the infinitive the preposition to, right? Look at the example. Many people use computers to make. Many people use tablet computers for making, you know? Okay, let's continue, right? Number four, people can use the internet. This question is for Esmeralda. No, 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 wait, Esmeralda, no. Eh, Carolina, yes, Carolina. It's a coincidence. You're number three in the list, Carolina. So, eh, eh, people can use number the internet. Four. Ah, number four, number four. People can use the internet. Carolina? Infinitive. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Ok. People can use the internet to learn. To learn languages, right? Le alcancé a escuchar. Yes. Learn. Ok, very good. Es que se le oye cortado, learn. pero. Yes, learn languages. Ok. I will repeat what Carolina Learn says. Carolina, oh, yes. Carolina says, people can use the, com the internet to learn languages, right? Now, eh, Esmeralda, please. You use Jerun, Esmeralda. In number four. Okay. People can use the internet for 
learning language. <laughs> oh, languages, languages. Languages. Languages, yeah. Very languages. good, thank you very much, okay? Hoy sí creo que ya lo entendimos, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a ver. Eh, Esaú, please. Number five. Infinitive, infinitive, Esaú. Ok. Companies sometimes use robots. Um, uh, perform. Uh -huh. to, to, to perform. perform. To perform dangerous tasks. Ooh, ooh, yes. Correct. To perform dangerous tasks, right? Tareas difíciles, yes. Very good. Now, eh, y Gerald's. Gerald's. In this case, eh, Patricia, please. Gerald's, Patricia. Number five. Companies sometimes use robots for looking for, perdón, for perform dangerous tasks. Okay, no. For, for. Performing. Excellent. For performing. Dangerous tasks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Para desarrollar tareas peligrosas, right? I don't know, mines. Me imagino eh, desactivando minas. Uh, descarbando a uh, metros de miles de metros de, de profundidad, right? Eh, no sé si quieren hablar con un árbitro de fútbol o con la suegra, no sé. Perf dangerous, right? Dangerous tasks. Ok, good. Now let's go to the last one. The police. The police. Eh, Infinitive. Let me see. Um, Beatriz, please. Yes. The police. The police use drones to look for criminals. Good. Now, um, Andres. Number six, Jerome's. Yo qué, teacher. No. <risa> yo no hice nada. Yo creo, yo creo que Andrés estaba comiendo pollito ahí en el parqueo. <risa> no, hombre, qué pollito. No, no. Eh, bueno. Sería la policía. Use, use drones. Use, use drones. To. To make. No. Mm. No, no. To. Sería, the police use drones to learn. Mm. No, to no make lo, video calls. No lo sé, Rick. No. Los drones hey, haciendo. Nada. No, 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 hey, ¿qué pasó no, ahí, no, amiguita? No te molestando. <risa> no te molestando. <risa> criminals, Oye, criminals, no, criminals. Ah, 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 ya sería, entonces, the police use drones. Mm. To look for criminals. Okidoki. Yes, thank you. Ahí con la aflicción que le están reparando la moto y todo, pero lo hizo muy bien. <ríe> ok. Thank sí, you, la verdad que sí. Tranquilo ahí, tranquilo. Ok, next one is going to be... Eh, Jennifer Guadalupe. Number six, Jennifer Guadalupe. Jeruns. Jeruns. ING, right? The policy drones uh, to sell. To look. But in this case, not to look. For the police use drones for. Look for criminals. Look or looking. L looking for Excellent. criminals. Yes. Okidoki, now repeat after me with infinity. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. 
Many people use tablet computers to make video calls. Jerome. Many people said. Okay. Many people use tablet computers for making video calls. Repeat, please. Repeat. Number Many two. People... Number two, right? Listen and repeat. Number two. You can use your smartphone to get directions. You can use your smartphone to get directions. Jerun. You can use your smartphone for getting directions. Three, repeat after me, please. Engineers use 3D printers to make car parts. Jeron, engineers use 3D printers for making part, car parts. Four, repeat please. People can use the internet to learn languages. Jerons, people can use the internet for learning languages. Languages. Five. Companies use robots to perform dangerous tasks. Perform dangerous tasks. Ah, no, 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 sorry, excuse me. Estamos en el jet, ¿verdad? Ya me equivoqué, sorry. <laughs> Companies use robots for performing dangerous tasks. Si me equivoco, corríjame. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now, next one. The police use drones to look for criminals. The police use drones for looking for criminals. <sighs> Class, do you understand? These topics are difficult, right? Infinitives and general, right? Yes? Any question? It's okay or you want an extra exercise? Do you understand the difference between infinitives and gerun, right? The infinitive is to show a purpose, an objective. Remember the mission and the vision, right? For example, right? In a company. And gerunds are nouns. Are nouns, right? That are after preposition for, about, to, etc., etc. Mario? Uh, <clears throat> Sí, teacher. Eh, estos serán todos con for, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, pero hay eh, otras preposiciones. Ajá, hay otras preposiciones. Uh -huh. Quizás si, si otros ejemplos, porque estos quedaron bastante claros para mí. Ah, oh, excelente. Eh, pero oh, ayer recuerdo que, que, que se me vino la duda de, de cómo ellos se iba a hacer para identificar bien cuál era el, 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 la preposición que se iba a ocupar para... Para, para los, determinados los... verbos o para determinados uh -huh. adjetivos. ¿verdad? Algún tip. Ajá. Ok, good. Eh, the, the problem here is that there are too many, Mario. Aquí quizás, como hay tantos y que no, la única es pues aprendérselo. Entonces vamos a ver el manual y vamos a ver la presentación de ayer también. Ok, good. Now, give me a second, please. Voy a dejarles de compartir aquí un ratito. Okay. 
aquí vamos a ver el manual primero. Teacher, perdón, pero digamos que tal vez si, si me aprendo la, uh, el significado exacto de, de las preposiciones, eh, en realidad sería lógico cómo armarla, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. It's another uh, situation, right? The problem is that sometimes we have the idea in Spanish, but they have other use, right? For lo, lo importante es que suenen lógicas yeah. en español. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, for example, we have here, look, uh, infinity, right? No, you were saying gerund, right? No, me estaba diciendo gerundis, permíteme entonces. Gerunds. Aquí estamos, ¿ve? Responsible for, responsible for, in the conversation, right? In charge of, in charge of, Okay, another example, right? Responsible to, accountable to. It's the same. Este es el mismo. Responsible to, accountable to. Responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. Right? That is the same. Significa lo mismo, los tres. And here we have more. Look, responsible for, in charge of, etc. Right? Very good. Now, I will open the I will open the the presentation of yesterday. Just give me a second. Inglés corporativo, inglés para el trabajo, inglés for work. Daisy tree. Here, right? Ahí estamos ya. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ahora se los comparto, chicos. Okay, look. Here in this corner, we have the examples. Look, Mario. With adjectives. Angry about. Excited about. Depressed about. Happy about. Sad about. Afraid of. Sick of. Tired of. Bored with. Crazy about. So these are the prepositions that are together with this adjective. Excited, depressed, happy, sick, crazy, etc., etc. Right? Now, here we have some other examples of verbs, right? With some prepositions. Complain about, talk about. We can also say talk to, talk to, worry about. You can also say worry for, also, right? Think about. Apologize for, believe in, object to. Those are the examples, right? And again, I recommend to see the, the PowerPoint presentations, right, of this class. And also in the platform, you can see the videos. This class is going to be in the video tomorrow, right? So you can check the, the platform and you can also uh, check the presentation in the WhatsApp group, right? Okay, Mario? There you have, write some examples. Okay, let me let me close close this. I will close this. Okay, that's it, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have to start with the new class, right? The passive board. 
So the presentation for today. Now a new topic. If you believe in gen infinities and zeros are difficult, right? Los que creían que los infinitivos y los geruns, los geruns, los geruns, sorry, eran difíciles, les presento el passive voice. Mm, okay. The passive voice. This is the new topic, right? Today is the class number three. It's May 31st. The objective of the class. Uh, Mario, can you read the objective of the class, please? Um, unit one, com company, ident uh, how do you identity. say? Identity, identity, identity. Company identity. I will be be able to the the discuss and write about the reputation of my company. Okay, the reputation. How your company recognize when people say uh, a bank? Oh, nice, right? Atlantida, very good, right? When people say, uh, for example, uh, Hencorp. Nice, right? Eh, when people say Dicora, Calmaniza, Televisores Argueta, right? Indy Motors, Unicomer. When people hear that, what is in the mind? Is good company or bad company? So the reputation, the reputation is really important for a company, right? Now, what is reputation in your opinion? Volunteers, please. What is reputation in general? I teach. Please. What is reputation? How do you business build the uh -huh. reputation? Uh, okay, and no, you're making me question or you're expressing your idea. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, in, in there, no comprendo totalmente la pregunta. <laughs> okay, what is the meaning? What is the meaning of reputation? What is the the definition of the word reputation? Right? Anybody understand? Who wants to help me, please? Yes. Let's have more. The client's opinion. The opinion, uh -huh, the opinion of other people, right? For example, uh, what is the opinion of of Beatriz about the teacher, right? Beatriz, I... Beatriz said, oh, no, the teacher is aliancista, so he's nice. <laughs> Good reputation, right? No, yes, no Beatriz, Beatriz. Que vive el águila. Las cosas son del diablo, teacher. Oh, come on. ¿Quién dijo del águila? Perdón, que le voy a bajar puntos. ¿Quién fue? Sorry. Yo soy orgullosamente. Ah, ok. Así, okay. rey de copas. Andrés, <risa> Andrés tres puntos menos. Salió, okay. del, salió del grupo de WhatsApp, parece. Ya, ahorita, tres puntos menos. <risa> ok. Reputation is the fame, the acceptance of other people for your company, right? What is the acceptance of, for example, a Banco Atlantida, right? People like Banco Atlantida. I only know it, Banco Atlantida in, in Mexicanos, for example, right? I visited a Banco Atlantida in Mexicanos a long time ago. The service was good in Mexicanos, in Mexicano, right? So the reputation of the branch, La Sucursal, right? Banco Atlantida Mexicanos is good. Good, right? Eh, no lo digo por Cristina, sino que porque realmente fue mi experiencia. So I went to the, and the attention is good in, in that branch. También la de Armenia, teacher. Armenia, oh, excuse me. Es la me. mejor. Okay. <laughs> yes. Very good. Y también los de Armenia todos son albos. ¿Cómo no te voy a querer? Okay, very good. Now, yeah, how, what, what, what? 
Not only by fans. No only by fans. Es que miren, cuando ustedes ven las noticias, ven los relajos del FAS, ¿verdad? Pero no todos los aficionados del FAS son malos. Hay buenos también. Igual los del Águila, ahí se dieron duro con los de Firpo en la cancha y le habían relajado. No, 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 no. Hay buenos aficionados del Águila, ¿verdad? Right? Andrés no es El uno de ellos. De Alianza. Andrés no es uno de ellos. Por... <risa> no, 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 eso fue un accidente. No, no, no hubo peleas de, de barras ni nada. Es más, los aficionados del FAS ayudaron ahí, los felicito. Pero fue un desastre. Yes, yes, y 12 personas. Well, anyway, continue, right? Now, how do business build, construir, build the reputation, right? Enoch, now do you understand the, the reputation now? Yes. The yes, question yes, is, yes. Enoch, the question is, how companies build, construyen, right? Build the reputation. Uh, What is your uh, Customer experience. Um, confiably, confiably, uh, ¿cómo se podría trustfulness, decir? Con... Trustfulness, trustfulness, sí, prof, con, trustfulness. Con, no, trust, trustfulness, like, like this, I will copy. Trustfulness, oh, okay. trust. confiabilidad, confiabilidad, right? Ah, trustfulness. Ah, tr tr trustfulness. Trustfulness. Mm -hmm. Trustfulness. Uh -huh. What else? Um, credibilidad. It's the same. Credibilidad. Ah, okay. Uh, uh -huh. Trustfulness. Uh, people believe in the company, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very yes. good, and not good ideas. Good ideas. And what about you, Jorge? What do you think? How can companies, how do businesses build a reputation? What can you do to have a good reputation? What can you do? Se lo voy a decir en español porque me cuesta aún. La aceptación de de igualdad de géneros. Ah, okay, but this is in in the social the, the social area, right? Tú me estás hablando del área social, but no, I'm talking about business. Money. <laughs> uh, money. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Business, for example. Your company, for example, right? Su compañía se dedica a ganar dinero, right? And it's normal. Yes? It's normal, yes. Yeah. It's normal, Jorge. But my In question is... Uh -huh, okay, but my question is, how do business build? Their... ¿Cómo los negocios crean una buena reputación? Eh, siendo claros ok to be clear uh, to express mm. clearly what are your services and your product right yeah okay. understand so to be clear mm. what be is clear. your product and what are your services right mm -hmm. what is your what product else? <laughs> what else Jorge que otras cosas veamos mm. La confiabilidad de la calidad. Ok. That's enough, right? Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you very much. Esmeralda, what is your opinion? You work in a bank, right? No, no. You work in Hancorp. Hancorp, right? Yes. Yes, ok. So, how does Hancor build a good reputation? Uh, confiabilidad. Uh -huh. Trustfulness. Trustfulness. Mm -hmm. uh, excelente atención al cliente. Co a good customer service. An excellent good. customer service. Uh -huh. Very good. What else? Um, sería fidelización de clientes mm, loyalty maybe loyalty right loyalty loyalty mm -hmm. yes loyalty. credibilidad no sé si es mm -hmm. 
I guess it's credibility, but I'm not sure. Let me check in my cell phone. Continue, continue. I will check. Um, pues solo eso recuerdo. Only that. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. No problem. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Let me check in the in the cell phone. Look, credibility. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh -huh, credibility. 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 Uh -huh, credibility. I put the microphone. Quiero ver si lo alcanzan a escuchar. Let me see. I will put the, the sound, right? <laughs> what happened here? Oh, I lost it. Sorry. But it's credibility. Credibility, right? Okay, Hancor, for example, Hancor has truthfulness, credibility, and loyalty. That's it, right? Okay, in class, now let's continue with the next. Okay, design. What is design? Design is an arrangement to form a pattern or decoration, right? Diseño, right? design. To form a pattern, un patrón, or decoration. Quality. The quality is the excellence of something. Let's say, for example, that uh, Banco a Bank has an excellent quality, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Galvaniza, for example, right? Galvaniza has uh, a quality of in, in the product, right? Is the products of uh, Galvanis are, are excellent, right? Prestigious. Prestigious is having a high status, right? A high status. Okay, very good. Now, let's go to the conversation. Listen, please. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, uh, continuamos con Rex, you know. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Ah, how do you translate this in Spanish? Clothes for kids? Clothes for Ropa kids? Para niños. Para niños. No, 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 no. Ropa para cabritos. Ropa. <laughs> yes. In, in United Sorry. States, people call children cabritos, right? En Estados Unidos, a los niños les dicen cabritos. Like in Chile, como en Chile, right? Cabritos. Cabrito vení, no? Kids. Kids is cabrito, right? Because maybe the children are, you know, <laughs> very crazy, right? <laughs> like the cabritos, like the kids. <laughs> okay, sometimes, right? Not todos. Uh, por ahí tenemos a André y tenemos a Santiaguito que son tranquilitos. <laughs> no se va. No lo sé, Rick. <laughs> okay, continue, right? Close for kids. And Daniel says, I see. And what is Rick known for? ¿Por qué es reconocido? ¿Cuál es la reputación de Rex? Entonces, Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Mm, excellent. And then you say, great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. The personally is important for them, right? Similar to Atlantida, Sucursal, Armenia. The personal, <laughs> very nice, right? <laughs> okay, continue. And then Daniel says, congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador, right? No sé si es verdad esto, o si existe Rex. Ustedes me dirán, pero... Okay, this is the, the information. Rex is rated one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador, right? Okay, class, repeat after me, please. So, Jessica. What does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids.
Ay, sí. And what is Rex known for? Known for. Rex is known for the modern designs. Rex is known for the modern designs. And the quality of clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Prestigious. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Good. Any question about vocabulary? Okay, I will take the attendance. If you have any questions, let me know, right? Enoch? Present teacher. Cristina? Present teacher. Carolina? Present. Esaú? Here. Here. <laughs> okay, good, thank you. Elizabeth? Jill, Giovanni, sigue de oyente, Giovanni. Yes, okay, good. Eh, Beatriz, present. Jennifer, present. Jorge, present. Eduardo, present. Thank you. Hey, welcome, Eduardo. Very good. Ya le pusimos asistencia. Le habíamos puesto falla, pero ya está aquí con nosotros. Ah, no, entró tarde. Va. Eduardo, entró sí. un poquito tarde nada más, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Perdón, hasta ya comentó todo. <risa> Perdón, Eduardo. Andamos cortando varas. Discúlpeme, discúlpeme. Yes, ya tiene rato de estar aquí. <risa> ok, Karina. Mis Meléndez Arriola. Ok. Alejandro. Día, día. Aquí estoy. Ah, Karina, Karina, ok. Thank you, Karina. Día. Eh, no, no, ya say present, present. Mm. Ah, present, sorry, okay, sorry. Thank sorry. you. Now, Alejandro. Manuel. Está oyente, Manuel, ¿verdad? Póngame ahí en el, en el chat, Manuel. Mario. Present teacher. Andrés. Present teacher. Good. Ya se oye el motor de la moto, ya está trabajando, menos mal. 
Ok, eh, Oscar, está oyente, ¿verdad, Oscar? Póngame ahí en el chat presente. Ya encendió, ya encendió. Ah, <risa> por lo menos ya. <risa> ok. Eh, Patricia. Patricia. Presente. Thank you. Present. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Víctor. Acá, teacher de oyente. Thank you. Ah, oyente. Ok. Thank you. Now, Vilma. Present. Thank you, Vilma. Ok. Now, repeat after me. The last time. Repeat after me. This time, more natural, right? More natural. Repeat. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated. Okay, I'm sorry, I feel a little tired. Eh, me siento un poquito cansado, así que mi asistente va a seguir, me va a seguir ayudando, mi asistente, okay? Yeah. Welcome. Repeat after me, please. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Ok, thank you. No, oh, no fue la gran ayuda este Dino, pero ok. Now, I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. Two volunteers, please. Me, and, teacher. Ok, Mario, your Daniel. Yo, and who is Vilma? No, no, no. Vilma. Cristina. Cristina, ok. Sorry, Cristina. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ok. Uh, you're going to be Jessica, right? Ok. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, today we have Mario and Christina. Action! So, Jessica, what does your company do? Etrex. We produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Wait, and are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Uh, Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, thank you very much. Now repeat after me, please. Modern. 
Modern. Clothes. Modern. Clothes. Clothes. Recognize. 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 Okay. Nice. Thank you. Two more volunteers and we finish. Two more volunteers, please. Me. Um right here, teacher. Uh, Enoch. Enoch and I hear a girl. Escuché una chica ahí. ¿Quién es? Please. Uh, Carolina. Sorry. Okay. Who? <laughs> please tell me your name. Perdón, es que no la no la ubico aquí en el en la in a compu, sorry. Uh, <laughs> your name, please, your name. Carolina. Ah, Carolina. Thank you. I'm sorry, Carol. Perdón que no le reconozco la voz, Carolina. Excuse me, ya me voy a acostumbrar. Sorry. Okay, Carolina and Enoch. Uh, right? Carolina, you are Jessica, and Enoch, you're, you're Daniel, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. <laughs> So, Jessica, what does your company do? Jessica? Carolina? 10 4, 10 4, Carolina. Ok, se le cayó el internet a nuestra ayuda. Ah, ok, Carolina, hoy sí. Le escuchamos, creo que el micrófono es. Carolina. Ok. Ok. Now, again. Hola. At Rex. Yes, now we copy. Ahora sí le copiamos. At Rex. At Rex. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Okay, Carolina, sorry, I guess your internet is not working properly in this moment, right? Sorry, I will need another volunteer, right? Who wants to help me? Hello, Andres? teacher, le ayudo. Ah, okay, thank you. Uh, Andres. Yes. Andres, you're going to be Jessica, Andres. So, Enoch, okay. ready? Again, again, Enoch. Okay, teacher. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Okay, sorry for the interruption. Permítame, que ya regreso Carolina. Carolina, ahora sí. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Yes. Okay, va. intentémoslo otra vez. Perdón, Andrés, ya, ya vino Carolina. <laughs> okay, me. okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Vamos a ver. Okay. Eh, Enoch. Okay. Uh, so, Jessica, what does your company do? As Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. Are you right? Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Good, thank you. Good participation, right? Now we have some questions, right? Say true or false, ready? People know Rex Produce clothes with modern designs for kids. That is true or false, class? True. That is absolutely true. true. Yes. Number two. 
people know regs manufactures quality clothes for kids? True or false? True. True. It's true, yes. True. Number three, people see regs as a prestigious company. True. Yes. True. True. People rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. False. 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 Okay. As one of the most prestigious companies. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Now, it's time to start with the passive voice, right? Eh, antes de... Antes que se me olvide, esta noche se va a quedar conmigo eh, Carolina. It's okay, Carolina? Ten minutes only, right? It's okay. Thank okay. you, Jeff. There we go. Thank you. Now, okay. now, let's continue, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, the passive boys. What is the passive boys? Okay, first, let's understand what is the active boys, right? Uh, if you're Doing something else, please come back to the stream. Si están haciendo algo por ahí, regresen a la pantalla y ahorita sí necesito el mil por ciento de atención, ¿ok? Now, please. The active voice. What is the active voice? Well, we have subject, pair, and object. The subject is the, the creator of the action. And the object is the receiver of the action. The subject produces the action. The object receives the action, right? Let's say one example, right? What is the name of your mother, Esau? The name of your mother? Margarita. Margarita, okay. So, Esau loves Margarita. So in this case, Esau is the subject. Esau is the creator of the action, right? So Esau is the subject. Let me change the color here. Oops, subject. The verb is loves. And Margarita is the object of the action, right? So Esau is the creator, the creator, the producer, the producer of the action. And Margarita is the receiver of the action. She, re she receives. She is the object, right? Or the receiver of the action. Esau gives loves to Margarita and Margarita receives that love, right? Understand? Okay, now. Example. Walt Disney opened Disneyland. Walt Disney is the subject. Disneyland is the, the object, right? And the verb is open. Open. Right? Okay. In 1995. So here, the subject is more important than the object in this context, right? Now, the passive voice. Ah, look. With the passive voice, we only change the position. Look, look at the teacher. We change the position. The position of the subject at the end, right? And the position of the, ob of the object at the beginning, right? So we have active voice, subject, object. Passive voice, object, subject. We change the position of the subject and the object in that, right? So in the passive voice, the most important part is the object. Understand? It's the same. I mean, it's the same idea, right? It's la misma idea. Estamos diciendo que este Walt Disney abrió su parque en 1955, right? It's the same. Disneyland was opened by Walt Disney. It's the same, right? It's the same. The only difference here, in 1955, the only difference here is that in the active voice, the subject is more important. And in the passive voice, 
the object is more important, right? Good. Then we are going to use a formula to change the active voice into passive voice. ¿Cómo cambiar la voz activa a la voz pasiva? Okay, we are going to use a formula. Look, what is the formula? Pay attention. The formula is the verb to be plus past participle. Okay, this is the formula, class. Pay attention. Memorize the formula, please. Memoricémonos esta, esta formula, okay? The verb to be plus past participle, right? And then you know what is the verb to be, right? The verb to be is, is, are, um, was, were, being, been, and only that, right? I'm sorry. And what is the past participle, class? What is the past participle? For example, for the verb no, no, the past participle is known. Mm -hmm. For the verb, eh, for example, cut, cut is the same cut. For the verb speak, spoken. For the verb break, for example, break. What is the past participle break? Is broken, right? What is the past participle of the verb uh, open? Opened is regular, right? Open. So these are the past participle. Uh, how do we call past participle in Spanish? It's ad oído, right? Yo he conocido, yo he cortado, yo he hablado, yo he quebrado, yo he... Bueno, aquí es abierto, ¿verdad? No decimos esa, yo he abrido. <laughs> no, yo he abierto. So this is the past participle, el pasado participle, right? Más una forma del verbo to be. Cualquiera de estas. This is the formula, right? Again, I repeat, it's important you memorize, memorize the formula. B plus past participle, right? Okay, let's continue. Para so don't, para don't for... Don't forget the formula, right? And don't forget here that in the active voice, in la voz activa, right? We have subject and object. And in the passive voice, it changes the position and we say object, subject, right? Any question? Questions? Teacher, <coughs> eh, entonces al cambiarlo de posición, uh, también digamos que um, tenemos que, um, como, que ponerle como, como el ejemplo que había dado, de, de que siempre eh, decía que, que amaba a Margarita, pero pero cambiando la forma, cambiando de posición. Ajá, vamos, vamos a poner el ejemplo de, ¿le parece que pongamos el ejemplo de, de Saúl otra vez, sí? So, active voice is uh, Esaú Esaú loves Margarita. Margarita, right? Yes. Now, yes. you, using the passive form, we use the formula. What is the formula? The formula is B plus present particle. Present particle, right? Teacher. Yes. 
Es en paz el ver. Pues, ah, pa. Paz, paz. No, wait a minute. Uh, so let me check. Past participle or present participle? Past participle, yes. Paz. Yeah, past participle. Yes. Because the present participle is ing, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Gracias por la corrección. Ya a esta hora que hace sueño ya. Ya estamos ahí haciendo el gran oso. <laughs> okay, so B plus pass part. This is the formula, right? And then, what are we going to do? Margarita, we change the position, look. Margarita. Margarita, the verb to be is, right? And what is the past participle of love? Of love is loved. Love. By Esau. Okay? So this is the passive voice. The active is Esau loves Margarita. And the passive is Margarita is loved by Esau, right? Understand, Mario? Sí, yeah, sí, yeah. teacher. Okay, good. Claro, claro. But in this moment, don't worry about uh, what is the form of the verb to be, uh, what is a past part. No, no. The only thing that I need to understand in this moment is that the active voice, subject, object, and the passive voice, object, subject. Understand? So, in the active voice, the most important part is the subject. In the passive voice, the most important part is the object. Pero solo quiero entender, ahí dice, Esaú ama a Margarita. Uh -huh. Y en la siguiente, Margarita es amada por Esaú. Como Perfect. Que yeah, sí. correct. Uh -huh. Yes. That's correct. So the first one, Esaú is the subject, Margarita is the object. In the second one, Margarita is the object and Esaú is still the subject. But they change position, right? Why is that? ¿Por qué hacemos eso? Because we want to remark in the active voice, we want to pay attention in the subject. Lo que nos interesa es el sujeto en la voz activa, right? Nos dice, no, la verdad es que sí, es algo importante, pero no, en esta ocasión quiero que Margarita sea más importante. So, the object is more, more important. So, Margarita is low by Esaú, right? It's simple, you say. ¿Y para qué nos complicamos la vida cambiando? Así dejémoslo. No, 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 no. That's the, the only purpose, right? To focus, to pay attention in the subject, in the active voice, and to pay attention in the object, in the possible, right? Okay, now let's continue. Okay. So, what is the subject? The subject is the performer, the doer, right? Is the one that performs or does the action, right? El sujeto es el que hace. La acción, right? Simple like that. El creador. And the object is the receiver. El objeto es el que recibe la acción, yes? Uno la produce y el otro la recibe, okay? Example, Patricia eats semita. Patricia come semita, right? Yes or no, Patricia? ¿Qué tal la, la semita en San Miguel? Mieluda? Yes? <laughs> okay, Patricia eats semita. Semita is eaten by Patricia, right? Understand? So the subject is Patricia and the object is semita. But we can change the position, right? And what is the formula? Bird to be plus past participle, right? Okay, here we have some examples. Veamos un ejemplo acá. Estos ejemplos. Son usando varias estructuras, ¿ok? Pero uh, en esta ocasión no quiero que, que tratemos de entender uh, qué es el presente simple, el pasado simple, el presente continuo, el futuro... No, no, no. 
nos vamos a focalizar en cómo realizar la oración con el, la voz pasiva, ¿ok? Good. Number one. Remember the formula, right? Le voy a escribir la fórmula acá para que no se la olvide. The formula is verb to be plus past participle. Ok, this is the formula, ok. Now, the pupusas are made, verb to be are, and past participle made. The pupusas are made in El Salvador. Is passive or active voice? Active. Sorry? Passive. Passive voice, correct. Is passive, right? Don't forget. Because pupusas is the object. Yes? Las pupusas son hechas en El Salvador. Okay, no, no es que las pupusas se hacen ellas solitas, ¿verdad o no? Hay ahí en, en Holocuilta, yo he visto un pupusero ahí en Holocuilta. Ya tiene las pupusas ahí, ¿ok? Entonces, el pupusero es el... Bueno, es una ocupación, por cierto, también, ¿verdad? Pupusero o pupusera. Ellos hacen las pupusas. ¿Qué quiere decir? Ah, en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Qué quiere decir? Que las pupusas son hechas en El Salvador, ¿ok? But pay attention in this. Solo quiero que presten atención en esto. Are is simple present. Right? So, in the past participle form, in the verb to be, we use simple present too, right? Si la voz activa está en presente, la voz pasiva también está en presente, ¿ok? Si la voz pasiva está en presente, la voz Activa está en presente y viceversa, ¿ok? Now, simple pass. Ahora vamos a una oración con pasado, par, pasado simple. De pupusa loca was invented in lo cual. Yo me imagino, aquí esto lo puse inventando. No, no estoy diciendo que así es. <ríe> Tal vez en otro lugar lo inventaron, pero. De pupusa loca was invented in lo oculta. Okay, so this is taken from the past, simple past. And notice in the verb to be, por favor presten atención al verbo to be. ¿En qué forma está? Was and where. El verbo to be cambia forma pasado aquí, okay? Now, nueva dos have been made in the cafeteria. Los nueva dos han sido hechos en la cafetería. Present perfect, right? So, What is here, right, the object? Nuegados, right? Nuegados is the object. Okay, and the verb to be, notice cómo cambia el verbo to be. En presente perfecto, creo que este tema es bien difícil, ¿va? pero pongámoslo aquí. Being made. Present continuous. Yuca frita. Mm. Creo que después de esta... De esta clase todos van a ir a comer, va. <ríe> a sacar la refri y las pupusas del domingo. Ok. Yuca frita is being sold in that restaurant. Present continuous. Mondongo soup o pata soup will be cooked there tomorrow. Look at the position of will. Here, right? Ah, sorry. And the form of the verb be. Vean que el verbo to be va cambiando de acuerdo como es el, el tiempo. Si es en presente simple, en presente continuo, futuro, etcétera, etcétera. De acuerdo a eso se va transformando. Pero siempre la misma fórmula. Look. Verb to be, past participle. 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 Right? The same fórmula. La fórmula no cambia. No importa cómo está el verbo to be en pasado, con, continuo, be, was, where, etcétera, etcétera. No importa. Lo importante es que tenemos una forma del verbo to be ahí y un pasado participio, ¿ok? ¿Any question? This topic is difficult, right? Este tema lo vamos a ir tratando así paso por paso, ¿yes? Good. Now we learn something, right? We learn that... 
there are two forms to describe a sentence, right? Dos formas de describir una, una idea. En, en forma activa, active voice, subject, object, y en una forma pasiva, object and subject, right? Aprendimos que el sujeto es el que hace la acción y el objeto es el que la recibe, ¿ok? Y aprendimos que la fórmula es verb to be plus past participle, right? Y que ese verbo to be lo podemos ir transformando de acuerdo a cómo sea la oración, si es en presente simple, en pasado, en presente perfecto, en presente continuo, en futuro, etcétera, etcétera, right? ¿Ok? Any question? Ok, vamos a ver la última diapositiva y pasamos listado porque ya no fue el tiempo. Okay. Past participle verb, regular and irregular, right? El verbo work, verb work, in past is worked, ed, right? But, What about the past, uh, the, the past participle, right? ¿Qué acerca del pasado participio? Vamos a ver aquí, Quiero, lo vamos a escribir si quieren, para que quede claro. Simple past is worked, ed, right? Past participle. Is work. Ah, okay. Look. The simple past in regular verbs is exactly the same as the past participle, right? La forma del pasado simple de los verbos regulares es exactamente, hasta con la pronunciación, la misma que el pasado participio, right? The same, la misma. Worked, worked. Learn, learn. Look at these examples. Cook, cooked. Perceived, perceived. Rated, rate, rated. Recognize, recognize, right? Solo vamos a ir agregando una ED. O si termina en L, agregamos solo la D. En la forma regular. Es exactamente lo mismo que el pasado simple. Es lo mismo que el el pasado eh, participio, ¿ok? Now, irregular. Con los verbos irregulares. Oh, sorry. Hay que aprenderlo de memoria. ¿Ok? Entonces, antes de irnos, vamos a aprender algunos de estos verbos. ¿Ya? ¿yes? Y mañana seguimos con la, la explicación. Ok, repeat after me, please. Ready? Come on, let's do it. Be, being. Become, become. Begin, begun. Bite, bitten. And, and. Bite, right? And, and. Bite. Blow. Blow. Blown. Break. Broken. Bring. Brought. Come on, repeat, repeat. Build, build. Buy, bought. Catch, caught. Choose, chosen. Come, come. Cost, cost. Cut, cut. Do, don't. Hit, hit. Whole hell. Hurt, hurt. How you? Okay. <laughs> Hurt, hurt. Heat kept. No, no. Leave, left. Lose, lost. Make, made. Meet, met. Pay, paid. Put, put. 
read read write written run run say said right we continue tomorrow and we are going to try to learn eh, les voy a compartir esta presentación y el día de mañana les voy a hacer un pequeño quiz les parece un pequeño quiz oral acerca del el pasado participio de los verbos irregulares aquí tenemos apenas o sea, el 5% o el 2% de los verbos. Fue un montón, ¿verdad? Pero estos son los más populares, ¿ok? Good class, I will take the attendance y me quedo eh, con, con Carolina. Yes? Ok. Ready? And then after you, I say your name, you can go and sleep, right? Hoy vamos a comenzar al revés. <laughs> ok. Vilma? Present. Ok, good night. See you tomorrow, Vilma. Good night. Ok. Good night. Very good. Ah, perdón, no se les olvide. Tarea 3 ahora, esta noche. Tarea 3. Solo Mario, que creo que la va a hacer a las 5 el viernes, Mario. <risa> no, teacher, fíjese que en lo, en lo que eh, me, lo sentí como un reto y me puse a descargar los drivers y ya la arreglé. Eh, así que hoy lo voy a hacer. Excelentoso. Very good. So continue, please. Víctor. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you teacher. Good night. Patricia. Present. Very good. Good evening. A Amimir. Good night. Good night. Now good Oscar. Night. Oscar. Me pone ahí el mensaje Oscar. Andrés. Andrés. Bueno, ahí estuvo con nosotros, reparando su moto, Andrés. Ok, eh, Mario. Mario. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Eh, Manuel, tíreme ahí el mensaje, por favor. Eh, Alejandro. Eh, Karina. Present. Thank you. Have a good night, Karina. Eduardo. Night, teacher. Good night. Eduardo. Bye, teacher. Night, night. See you tomorrow. Jorge. Good night, teacher. Good night. Jennifer Guadalupe. Jennifer. Eh, Beatriz. Good night, teacher. Good night. Eh, Giovanni. Jill. Good night, Jill. Good night, Giovanni. See you tomorrow. Jill. Elizabeth. Esaú. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina. Carolina. Present. Ok, thank you, thank you, Carolina. And Cristina. Good night, teacher. Good night, see you tomorrow, Enoch. Good night, teacher. Good night, God bless you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow, right? Ok, and um, Alejandra, Karina Alejandra, right? You tomorrow. Sí. Eh, okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you too. Thank you. Okay. And Victor, you can go to sleep. Victor, ya puede ir a descansar tranquilo. Victor, see you tomorrow. Okay. Carolina, how are you? Carolina, it's a pressure. How, how do you like the class? How do you like the class? ¿Qué le ha parecido la clase, Carolina? Mm, aprendí algunas algunas palabras nuevas como lo de confiabilidad, que tipo que era trustfulness. Trustfulness. Um, ¿eh? Es um, vi unas en um, 
en, las, en la tarea de uh -huh. ayer que hice hoy antes de la clase y nos es warehouse warehouse uh -huh. warehouse eh, como depósito o almacén uh -huh. y shipping que es envío y tenía una duda por ejemplo con lo de la tarea de ayer no la de antes. la primera tarea en la primera tuve la última incorrecta pero se se pueden volver a hacer la tarea yes. hasta que todas estén correctas yes 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 y ahí le dice pero los he dejado así tal cual si salí mal en una entonces la dejo es como okay. para... Okay, sí, claro, si noto la, la... Me, parece, me parece bien, ¿verdad? Solo que en este caso tenemos que llegar a un mínimo de 80%. ¿Llegó al 80%? Sí, yes. en ambas tareas he tenido una mala. Ah, ok, no es la gran cosa, ¿verdad? Pero Ajá. como, como sí, siempre repitos... la última, no sé por qué. Sí, no, no tengo idea, pero lo importante eh, es que la tercera... En la pues... primera tarea, la última decía We envision the leader in the distribution of energy drinks in the regional market. Ok. Yo coloqué correcto, pero no era correcto. No, no era. Entonces... Si, si, si gusta, lo vemos. Pero... Ajá, lo... entonces no sé por qué. Bueno, veámoslo juntos, ¿le parece? Voy a, uh -huh. voy a compartirlo, pero tengo que abrir la... Permítame, okay. regálenme unos segunditos que abra el... Y vamos a cerrar okay. la presentación de esta noche. Ya se la voy a enviar al grupo. Aquí cierro el, el manual. Y aquí nos vamos al internet. Regálenme un segundito. Okay. Ups. Se me fue aquí. Ok. Inglés corporativo. Vámonos a la plataforma. Plataforma de aprendizaje. Que ahí está abriendo. Espérenme un segundito. Ah, ahí está. Ya la tenemos. Y ahorita se la comparto, Carolina. Okay. Aquí estamos. Ok. Unidad 1. Okay. Unit number 1, right? Task number 1. Aquí estamos en la tarea 1. Okay. Vale, ok. ¿Cuál es la que le tiene, tiene dudas? En la última, que es la que salió la mal. Okay. ok, dice. We envision. Be leaders in the distribution of energy drinks in the regional market. Eh, así, la primera está correcta o incorrecta? Yo creo que correcta. Correcta, vaya. Pero fíjese, vamos a ir. No le voy a dar la respuesta porque no puedo dársela. Lo que sí le voy a dar es un ejemplo para que usted vea si está correcta o incorrecta. Our mission is to provide. Okay. Los infinitivos llevan la preposición to antes del verbo. ¿Sí? To provide. Aquí el verbo es be. ¿Le falta algo a ese verbo? Ahí está. Yes. Ambition to be. Ya dijo usted. Entonces, The preposition to Before, la, la tiene before el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes. no me diga la respuesta, pero ¿es correcta o es incorrecta? No me responda, es no me responda. <ríe> no, <me> responda. <ríe> no sé, pero el teacher no le ha dado copia, ¿verdad? Y en, la, <ríe> en la tarea de ayer uh -huh. que hice hoy, también la última está mal. Veamos la tarea de ayer. Ahí está. Es la tarea 2, right? Good. Aquí 
dijimos que después de una preposición, supervise, por ejemplo, vamos a poner ING. Entonces, supervise. No, no sé, Carolina, no sé. <ríe> Usted lo digo. No, pero, pero la <ríe> última, la última está mal. Vaya, veámonos. Who is in charge of? Este verbo Yo coloqué es... assisting to, Ajá. to the assisting. customer. Assisting to. Veamos, la voy a poner yo. Assisting to, me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, puede ser assisting o puede ser assisting to. Veamos si está correcto. Permítame. Lo voy a tomar como que yo estoy haciendo el examen. Permítame. Assisting. O no me lo acepta. Bueno, eh, le voy a poner ahí. No Permítame, voy a poner ahí todos. Cualquiera voy a poner, ¿verdad? Ahí está, ¿ves? Le voy a enviar. Y me lo pone malo, mire. Quiere decir uh -huh. que no lleva la preposición tú. No, no sé. No le podría Only decir. <ríe> no le podría decir, no le podría dar la respuesta. <ríe> ok, pero ahí usted llega a su conclusión, ¿verdad? Asist. Pero entonces la pregunta es, ¿quién es el encargado o quién está a Ajá, cargo? De, de ayudar, de ayudar o de asistir a, a los. A los clientes, yo por eso pensé en asisten tú. No. Tú de costo. No, no, no está correcta eso. No. No. Una de las otras dos es, pero no esa. Así que usted averígüelo. ¿Mm? Averígüelo usted, así que, pero si le preguntan, el teacher. Según la clase. Ajá. Ok. Very good. Pero repito, Carolina, el, el teacher no le dio la respuesta. No, me dio. no, no, yo no fui. Yo no fui. Carolina solita llegó a la conclusión. Vaya, y esta es la tarea para esta noche, mire, Carolina. Hacerlo de nuevo y enviarlo, así que todas estén bien. Sí, sí, sí. Sí. Vaya, y aquí está la de esta noche. Para que usted lo haga, ¿ok? Good, Carolina. Eh, my recommendation. Siempre escuche, siempre escuche música en inglés. Dedíquele al menos 15 minutos diarios a su inglés practicar solita con música, películas, videos, lectura, etc. ¿Sí? Si no tiene material, yo estoy enviando un video todos los días al grupo de WhatsApp. Puede practicar esos videos, ¿sí? Con 15 minutitos que le dedique a su inglés, de aquí a cuatro o seis meses me va a estar diciendo, teacher, tenía razón. Oh. <risa> ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta extra, Carolina? Sí. Ok. Sí, va. No. No, no. Bueno, cualquier Solo cosa. Eso con respecto a la tarea. Ahí estamos a la orden en el chat o en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ok. Bye bye. Sí. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sí, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.